Stafford Center was recently host to the 38th annual Greater Houston Train Show. Current chairman Robert Barnett talks about the show and the club that hosted it. The San Jacinto Model Railroad Club was founded in about 1953 or 4. We have a constitution from that period, but it's not actually dated. When uh, the NMRA uh, declared that there were no chapters, we changed it to the San Jacinto Model Railroad Club in 1958, and then we incorporated to have a third constitution dated in 1991. And so technically now with the San Jacinto Model Railroad Club, Inc., we currently meet in uh, one of the Harris counties in one of uh, Commissioner Raddick's Precinct 3 uh, parks buildings. Uh, we have monthly meetings where we have clinics and how-to clinics and presentations. We put this show on once a year and we sponsor the fall layout tour. We're a social club. Uh, we don't own any property or own a railroad. Today we have the sales tables. We have uh, six or seven clinics you can go see. And we have display layout set up at all the popular scales. We have an HO layout, an S scale layout, an N scale, a Z scale, uh, the bigger G scale that you can see on the floor in one of the rooms here. And then behind me here is uh, a display of inch and a half scale equipment that runs out at Zuby Park. So we have virtually everything smaller than the prototype here today. I compare trains to sailing or flying. Some people, it's just in their blood. They love trains. They've probably loved trains all their life. Uh, they can find an outlet for that through either being a rail fan or, or joining the, the Railway Historical Societies or through modeling and building a layout or being a member of one of the modular clubs that builds these layouts and comes to the show. We've been doing it about 40 years, so it's not, it's not really that difficult to uh, coordinate something like this. Uh, we have several people that have gotten the clinics together and put them on. We have a, a listing of people that like to bring, or clubs that like to bring their uh, layouts and set them up. Uh, we have the, the same group of vendors come year to year, so it's a matter of you know, making some phone calls and emails, and of course, I don't do this by myself. There's about 10 or 12 more people that work very hard to put this thing on. I think it's, uh, it's a continuity. Most of us have been in the hobby, if you look around here, most of us have been in the hobby a long time. Uh, the average age out here is probably of the, the modelers is in their 50s or 60s. We're trying to get more young people in it. Uh, most of us have been interested in trains and the hobby and uh, it's a social, we're basically a social club. We don't own a layout. We put on this show once a year and we put on the fall layout tours once a year and we have monthly meetings where we have clinics or presentations and that's basically what we do. So it's more or less a social outlet. Uh, we also have a hands-on clinics so you can come learn about the prototype and how to model. Sometimes we actually have hands-on clinics where you can actually build a tree or a building. We don't have one of those today. And then we have the sales tables where you can go buy, uh, some people are, buy equipment, some people are changing scales, some people are getting out of the hobby. Uh, occasionally it's an estate sale, so you can go uh, pick up equipment to put on your railroad. I enjoy sitting and listening to the presentations. It's one of the favorite things. Uh, there's one going on right now on the Texas New Orleans Railroad, which was the Southern Pacific here in Texas. There's another clinic going on right now that's presented by a guy that's a retired uh, uh, Missouri Pacific brakeman on the uh, railroad official guide and the use of that. So we have some pretty knowledgeable people putting on these clinics. We put this on to expose the public to railroading if they're interested and to enhance the experience for the people that are already interested in model railroading. Uh, we hope they buy some things, go home, build them, and put them on the railroad. We hope they come to our club or join one of the other clubs. Uh, there's virtually every club in town has a table here today advertising their club. Uh, we want to expose people to the railroading and model railroading and hope they join a club, whether it's ours or another one, and actively participate in the hobby. To learn more about the organization, visit the San Jacinto Model Railroad Club webpage. For Great American Pastimes, I'm Fernando Ramirez. Thank you.